On today's episode of Watch Jericho, we have the greatest truck GM has ever built in the shop. And I can't wait to show you everything about it. What is going on guys? I am Watch Jergo and today we are here in the shop with a vehicle that's actually here for a detail. But it's so amazing. It's, it's mid detail right now. You can see there's still polish on the windshield and stuff like that. They're doing a complete polish, two stage, a ceramic coating. Everything is going into this Escalade. But after I looked at it, I was like, I have to take a second and show it to you guys because it's mind blowing. This is one of the highest spec Escalades you can order and its features will absolutely blow your mind. It takes every feature you think you've heard of that you've imagined needing in a car, things that you're like, that was a cool feature. They took it all and they put it in this truck. Okay, it's missing two things. We'll start with what it's missing. And that is heated and cooled cup holders. I think they should have put those in every single position in the entire truck. That would have been a nice touch and massage seats. How does it not have massage seats? Anyway, let's get into this thing. So this is a 2021 Cadillac Escalade Sport Platinum. Uh, you can see the sportiness because they painted everything black and it's a platinum because it has basically every single option, including all the cool Sport Platinum options they have. So it's locked right now. You can see it's just a giant slab of black. It looks like the taillights are still on actually. The taillights are incredible. The lighting package is incredible. We could spend five minutes on the lighting package alone. The Escalade has the coolest taillights. I think it's undeniable uh, of any car on the road these days. And uh, they're beautiful. It's like a ballroom. It's like a chandelier on the back of a truck. So one of the coolest things ever are those gigantic taillights that came out in the fourth gen, if I remember right. This is the fifth generation Escalade and the first year of it being a 2021. Since we're outside the truck, we'll take a second just to talk about the lighting package, like I said. Uh, on the remote, you've got lock, unlock, remote start, hit it twice, uh, open the hatch, power hatch, hit it twice, and open the rear glass, hit it twice, and of course, panic as well. So it's currently locked, everything is stowed, and we're gonna unlock it and see what the front animation is. Two amber, pulsing, so you can see it's coming alive. And then the vertical lights on the front stay on for a moment there. And let's lock it one more time. If you noticed when you unlocked it, everything turns white so that you know it's like waking up and, and you also know what you did. So when you lock it, everything turns amber and that's all you need. When you unlock it, the white lights come on so that you know what you did in the parking lot. It's locked and we're gonna unlock it. You can see amber, amber, and come to life. So that is just the startup shutdown animations on the outside. They are awesome. And now that it's unlocked, you can see there's a Cadillac logo projected on the ground right here. And you put your foot where the Cadillac logo is. Wave it maybe. There it goes. Those things never really work right, but hey, it is here because everybody else did it, so Cadillac was like, uh, we better do it too. Uh, we'll take a quick look in the back. You've got the AKG subwoofer. This has the AKG reference system. We'll get more into the audio system in a minute, but it is epic in every sense of the word. They knocked that thing out of the park. On the passenger side in the rear, we have a 110 volt inverter. These are some of the fastest power seats you've ever seen. Isn't that crazy? Everyone else's power folding seats take days and GM was like, we've got it. They knocked power seats out of the park on minivans and all that stuff, they take forever. So that's uh, super impressive. And if we hit it twice, we can close the hatch. And when it closes, um, you can either open the hatch by pushing on the Cadillac logo, it tilts. So you can just walk up and punch the logo. Or uh, if you want to open the glass, Hit this little invisible button here and that will open up the hatch glass. They even went and hid the wiper for the rear glass underneath like the brake light cove so that you never have to see the wiper. Uh, of course on the old ones, you know, you go through a car wash, people would tape down the wiper because it'd be down here on the glass. Cadillac solved that. They just hid the wiper altogether up underneath the brake light, which is also a spoiler. I mean, it is a sport. Uh, this does have the towing package. You can pull the hitch out. It has insane trailering capabilities. Uh, it's got a camera that looks straight down at the hitch to help you 
hook up and it's got your rear view mirror camera right there. We'll get more into that in a minute. It also has a washer that cleans both cameras that sprays to the side there. So a uh, little bit of windshield washer fluid goes a long way keeping those cameras clean when you're on a dirt road. I think this is the best looking Escalade of all time. They, they don't miss. Cadillac has never missed. You guys remember, I mean, feel free to jump back to my old video of the first generation Escalade. I had one of those, the one they only made for two years if I remember right. It was a great truck and they just haven't ever really missed. It got better and better and better. Eventually there was like the GMT 800 Escalade, which is just that thing with a, a bunch of escalade stuff thrown on it. And of course, six twos, they always got six twos. This one's still powered by a 6.2 liter V8. They call it the Ecotec 3, 428 horsepower and 460 foot pounds of torque, I think. Don't quote me on that exactly, but I'm pretty sure those are the numbers out of it. So plenty of power to propel this almost 6,000 pound monster around town for your go to the mall duties and drop your kids off at school. Cause you know, that's what this is used for mostly. There's plenty of road trips going on in Escalades, but everyone knows the general usage of taking your kids to school that's like three blocks away. But it doesn't matter because you did it in style. Like it's just so much class exudes out of this thing. And I love it. It could be, it could be so gaudy and nonsense, but they just took a subdued route. They made everything black. They put a gigantic Cadillac logo on the front, which helps hide that camera. And if I had to guess, there's probably radar crews. No, it's, it's there, but it's not under the badge. I don't see any wires or any modules coming out from behind the Cadillac logo. So somewhere in there, they've got their uh, radar hiding in here for the cruise control. Uh, LED headlights, of course, LED everything. And the headlight package looks very nice with a lot of detail on the sides. Whenever you walk towards it, it always does this animation. Uh, if the key is in range of the vehicle, it'll wake the taillights up. So you can see that just awesome animation over and over and over. Okay, a couple more things before we head inside. It is sitting on 22s, black 22s. I think it's a little too much black, but honestly with this thing and the sport package that blacks out all the trim, it looks pretty good. So I'll give them that. Uh, it's a sea of black though. It, it also, I think the black helps this thing look way smaller because it's a tank. It's a gigantic vehicle and it would look way bigger in a color like white or something like that. So luckily the black kind of minimizes its size. And driving those 22s is a 10L80, the 10 speed automatic, but a monster because it's got the 80 in there too. So you can count on it being very reliable. Surprisingly, it's not all time all wheel drive. So for the most part, no matter what you're doing, where you're going, this thing's gonna be quick. I wouldn't call it fast. Obviously the V's coming with its 682 horsepower, supercharged LT4 engine that'll come out next year. 4.4 seconds to 60 in the V. This isn't that, but this is as close as you can get for now, and it is an absolute monster. You get all the confidence of knowing you've got four wheel drive and a heck of a drivetrain, and you can pull a trailer with it, and it's gonna get you home, and it'll probably get you unstuck for most things too. We're starting with the driver door, and here on the driver door, we have those amber markers that it uses for the startup animations. We've got cameras on both sides, looking down the side. Um, the door handles do not move. They're not mechanical, which is amazing. And also the button that you touch to lock it is the Cadillac logo. Just perfect touches everywhere on this thing. Uh, these are illuminated at night too, it looks like. I've never seen them light up, but I'm sure they do. Uh, I don't know why else you would have a clear plastic top on the door handle. So normally on a GM truck, you'd pull and the door handle would open up, but no, they made this like the Corvette door handles, which are much better because they don't ever fail you. You just touch a switch. There's the power running boards. The power running boards are lighted as well. I have seen them light up, but they apparently don't want to light up right now. All right, we shut the lights off, so now we can see everything light up for once. So if we open the door, first the pedal lights are incredible. Still can't get the underglow on the steps to turn on, but you can see the ambient lighting and you can see the Escalade logos lighting up in the door sills. So let's head inside this tank. First of all, the seats. The seats are incredible. I forgot how much adjustment they have, but I think they're 14-way power adjustable, lumbar support, heated, cooled, everything you would expect. I mean, just look at the switches on the seats. You have so much seat control there. It's unbelievable. The seats are anline leather or something like that. I, I honestly forgot what they call it, but it's really, really cool. It's this nice tufted grid, basically. More on these here in a second, but first let's start right in the front, right in the driver's cockpit. Here's your seat controls for the driver. You still have the old school GM heated seat separation there where you can have just the back heat or both. So that's upper and lower. And of course there's the cooled seat controls right there. You've got lock buttons, really nice, like 
I mean, those are plastic, but they look like brushed aluminum door handles. Uh, every window is full auto up and down. There's your memories and of course power folding mirrors. You see that every time it starts up and we'll just kind of head right on over through the dash. So this screen is a 38 inch curved OLED screen that's just stunning. And the screens are finished in like a matte finish that doesn't really take fingerprints. So that's really nice. Instead of just being a big glossy LCD screen, you can touch it wherever you want and not worry about it being all smudged up. And also it doesn't reflect the sun insanely well. So you can see it in almost every light condition. So they've really thought of absolutely everything. And there's even this tiny screen over here. I think it's actually all one, but hey, um, that's all screen. There's more screen. Don't worry about that. If you can see it, which you can't. The heads up display is right there. It's that little compartment. Uh, of course, the projector is underneath there and it is full color in the Escalade. Here's the heads up display controls. You can move it up and down depending on your height so you can see it. And uh, this is also obviously a touch screen. Here's your trip. And let's see what else we have here. We've got, you can put the map over here in the center. Wow, that is cool. And also we can change back to gauges and AR augmented reality camera. Let's see what that does. A front camera right there in the gauges. So we'll go back to gauges for now and put that back on the trip odometer. Here is your main gauge view. You've got the tack right there. It's like a linear bar graph. Sounds cool. You've got your compass right there in the corner and the vehicle's current height configuration. And I think that right there is the conversation enhancement, that little hearing aid. And you're like, what's conversation enhancement? Well, Kias have that too. Uh, the Telluride, also one of my favorites right now. There are microphones all through the cabin. And if somebody's in the back talking, it uses some language processing and it decides that their voice needs to be amplified. So it plays it through the speakers. So if I'm talking up here, whoever's in the back can hear me without me raising my voice or having to turn my head. It's absolutely normal. It's like natural speech, but amplified between the zones. A crazy feature. We're getting into the, the deep cuts here. So that's a pretty cool one. We can see audio displayed over here. There's a gas gauge. It's in two wheel drive right now, 128 miles of range. And of course this is configurable. It's all digital. You can put, I'm sure, whatever you want in the gauges. This must be that listening mode. Oh yeah, conversation enhancement on. That's what that's called. Um, here's all your cruise control. All the standard steering wheel controls you would expect along with paddle shifters, which is nice. Uh, auto wipers, the rear isn't auto, but the rear wiper controls are right there. And of course, auto lights as you'd expect with a button on the end for auto high beams. I've only made it about 12 inches into the cabin on this thing, and we have talked about a lot of features. Let's keep on going. Over here are four wheel drive controls. We've got auto, two wheel drive high, four high, four low, and mode. I don't know, oh, mode is the drive mode. You can see it pops up right there. Sport, off-road, which is gonna raise the vehicle. It already started raising the vehicle. And tow haul for your trailering, still raising the vehicle, so it's ready to take a bunch of additional load on the rear axle, and we have ground clearance controls. We can set those manually right beside the mode button and we'll put it back in sport because that should be the aggressive throttle profile. So down here underneath that row of buttons, we've got the electronic parking brake. We've got the trailer brake controls and of course gauge brightness or interior brightness. All right, we made it through a little bit of the cockpit. Let's jump into some of the crazier things real quick. If you open the center console right here, which is of course trimmed in beautiful leather with Escalade logos, all that good stuff, you open up a cavernous center console, which looks very cool. And you're like, huh, why is it sealed? Because it's a fridge. <laughs> it's a temperature selectable fridge and it is freezing cold. Like if you put cans in there, it will keep them so cold. It's tough to say how cold that is right now. I bet on a road trip, it would be absolutely freezing. It's also perimeter lighted with a nice soft LED glow. Here are the controls for the cooler. And of course, another control for the 120 volt inverters and a microfiber so you can clean all your screens. Uh, that's pretty much needed in modern vehicles. Uh, in the console, you also have a SD card slot, USB-C and USB-A. So we'll turn that off and close the console. Right in front of the console, we have wireless charging for your phone. This is not my favorite. I really like the GM truck ones where it goes right here. It's much, much nicer. Your phone, you have to really pull to get it out of these vertical chargers. So that's not great. Um, an entire suite of media controls right here, or you can just use the touchscreen. This gives you physical buttons for everything, which is nice. Uh, BMW style shifter. It's like the ratchet shifter where you have to push the button to shift gears. So there's reverse. There's drive and drive again puts you in low. So push the button to go back to park 
and it's in park. Here we have auto hold for auto brake hold, uh, auto start stop, and uh, lane keep assist right there. This is all trimmed out in some uh, nice plastic wood. I really doubt the wood's real, but hey, it looks nice, it's a good touch. Uh, there's USB-A again, USB-C again at the top of the cup holder zone. That way you can always reach your phone or probably your main device that's plugged in right there. Cup holders, and those are ambient light as well, so you can change the color of those, and a nice little pocket right there to throw receipts and junk in. And now the rear view mirror, one of my favorite features of all time, ever since Chevy did it in the X-T5 or X-T6, it has been perfection, and everyone has started to copy it finally, the rear view mirror camera. So that camera on the back, uh, let's you see what's going on and uh, you can move it like you don't have to move the mirror to position that camera You go into the menu here and this is the brightness menu and then you have magnification Which is cool. You can zoom in on things behind you if you want and you can change the height of it if you want as well, so That is the rearview camera mirror. It's that simple. It's that good and it's honestly one of the best things they've ever done because it doesn't matter who's in the car, or what's behind you, you can just flip to the camera and actually see what's going on. And if you don't like it, push it forward and the camera shuts off and you have a traditional rear view mirror that is frameless and incredibly well done. We've got the roof console up here. Everything you would expect, OnStar. Uh, this is the shade for the sunroof. Sunroof, slide and tilt got their own buttons, which is very nice, so they can both be full auto. And of course you can flip the rear seats from right there and you can set how much the rear door opens from right here. So uh, a lot of the older cars you would manually set that by like moving the tailgate to where you wanted and holding the button. This one you can just pick it right there with that little scroll wheel. This appears to be the cabin lights off, I'm not sure. Uh, you also have home link up there. This is the interior motion alarm, you can turn that off if you're like locking the car but you know someone's still in here or something like that, it won't set the alarm off. So very well done up here in the roof. Nice LED lights, everything fades on and off. Speaking of the roof, it's a panoramic sunroof. It's gigantic, the sunshade rocks, and it's nice having two separate buttons to run the sunroof as well, because typically you always want slide. I mean, every once in a while you tilt, use the vent, but for the most part, you wanna hit the slide, so you just reach up, punch the button, and there you go, ready to slide the thing open. So very well done, Cadillac. Lighted vanity mirrors, of course. I don't think it was even a question in a car of this caliber. Uh, obviously LED and obviously a very nice natural tone on the light uh, for when you're doing makeup there. Speakers everywhere. So we have speakers here. I'm sure there's a center channel right there. Actually, you can kind of see it peeking out from the center of that grill. There are speakers in the headrests on the front seats one on each side for your ears, just like the Mazda Miata. There are height speakers everywhere in this thing, including four right here in the front. So uh, height speaker, height speaker, height speaker, height. they're the silver ones. And there are microphone arrays right in front of each seat as well. I'm sure that's how it does the conversation enhancement. And I'm also sure that your phone calls sound incredible inside this thing. I'm also sure it's acoustic glass, so it's nice and quiet when you're heading down the road. Climate control, very simple, on, auto, uh, here's your vent and defrost selections and also the floor vents. Uh, it's dual zone. Look at the animations. How amazing. They just knocked it out of the park everywhere. Uh, fan, obviously you just put it on auto and never touch it again. Set it to 72. Good for life. Anyway, uh, there's max defrost, rear defrost, AC, recirc, and sync so you can get rid of the passenger control. And it does have at least three zones of climate. Uh, because it does have rear climate as well. So we're gonna go through the infotainment pretty quick. I love that this piece of piano black trim hides all of the lights that would typically, it's even got a little Cadillac logo right there, be in your physical gauges. Since the physical gauges are gone, I think they were required to keep the lights, so they did that. They put them all inside here. Check engine, everything, they're all hiding in that little strip. So this thing is absolutely sick and you can quickly get to everything you want uh, without trying. It's one of the best infotainment systems out there. So finally, GM, doing the thing. So here is home, there's uh, everything. The very first page is the three stripe where you can have your audio, the map, and your phone status right there. There's parking assist, and I'm sure that's auto parallel park. That's also the built-in modem signal right there for GLTE. That's probably GPS, and uh, that's the rear climate shortcut right there. Hit that, you can see what's going on with the rear climate. Hit auto, and it gives you a picture of the rear and all of its adjustments as well. So we'll just shut that right back off, go home, 
and flip through the pages. So audio, nav, phone, vehicle information, rear climate controls again, CarPlay, Android Auto, all the things that you need. But this is a good interface. You don't have to have CarPlay in an interface this good. You can change users, everybody can have their own login. Wi-Fi hotspot for the car, settings, and you guys can see just how responsive this is. It's perfect, so fast, does exactly what you want. Definitely one of the best infotainment systems out there. Trailering, apps, OnStar, rear media controls, you can turn on and off each TV separately. You can do all kinds of really cool things. I love that. I'm sure it has a Blu-ray player hiding in here somewhere. Let's see if we turn one on, connect device. You know what, it might not, because it has HDMI inputs. So there's a chance that it doesn't have a Blu-ray player. That's definitely interesting. So let's power all off. Cool, uh, back to home. And here's the ambient lighting controls. They are very good. You can pick a color. You can pick through any of these colors. You've got a nice warm white and then a bright white. I just, it's so good. And you can also link it to the drive mode. So if it's in sport, it becomes red. And you can see the ambient lighting rolling through its colors right there on the floor mat and on the entire vehicle, honestly. It has a lot of ambient lighting. Back to red we go. The camera suite is outrageous. You can pick so many cameras, so many views. Um, there's the side cameras. There are 360 views where you can just, you can't spin it like a lot of the cars. Uh, I do love it when you can just grab the car and throw it but it's still very good. You can't be upset about that. Uh, it's a pretty poor animation of the car. If I had to judge something, it's it's like a two-year-old made that animation of the car. All right, there's Auto Parallel Park, uh, XM, uh, built-in Alexa, My Cadillac services for service and all that good stuff. It, it has everything shoved into the menus and none of it's intrusive, none of it's annoying. I gotta say, I love it. There's the quick shortcut to the audio. You can pick all of your sources. Quick shortcut to navigation, loading the map, super nice. Phones are in there too, and the vehicle information is so powerful and so good, every car guy will absolutely love it. So, it's super well instrumented. You got your trailer brake gain over here. If you change it, it changes in the gauges and it changes over here. Coolant temp, trans temp, which is also awesome to have. Escalades love to give you trans temp because you're paying more for a premium vehicle. Air filter life, which is pretty cool. Brake pad life, I don't know why it's disabled, but that's cool. And one of the greatest things, usually when you need to shut off traction, you have to hold a button for like 10 seconds. Not so in the Escalade, they have nailed it. Go to that menu, traction off, stability off, you're ready to do burnouts or try to slide your Escalade around. I don't know if I'd recommend that. It's probably got a pretty high CG, but you can see the light pop up and that's all it takes. So well done. I wish traction was like that in every vehicle. If you grab the scroll wheel, you get a new menu. It's round and you can change through everything super fast and use it like a mouse. Push down to hit enter and just flip through everything you want. You also have a physical volume control, another volume control. It does not leave you wanting for uh, physical controls anywhere. This thing is done so right. You get all the buttons, you get all the touch screens. It's just well done, well thought out. Hopping in the back, you can see again, the AKG speakers. We've got like a mid bass here, tweeter here, subwoofer in the back. Incredibly well done lighted door sills the seats in the back are great there's plenty of room even if you're tall i bet these seats slide yeah they have rails so even these seats can slide um you've got your 12.6 inch tvs back here 12.6 inch displays those are massive so and they're right in your face so it looks huge down here on the bottom you've got usb c's for each person and hdmis for inputs to the monitors this is another 120 volt 110 volt uh, inverter and you've got cup holders that slide out and of course the rear climate controls are right here if we just touch any of these buttons they should turn on and of course the heated seats are right there too so we'll shut those back off super nice all-weather floor mats throughout armrest for the rear passengers um, this incredible like divot for the lighting and everything like that that just perfectly lights up everything in the back. It's all nice and even, even lighting everywhere. USB-C for each passenger. Your kids can charge all of their devices. It's an outrageous amount of devices. This is a leather pad. So nice. Cup holder, storage, and you can flip the seats from the front as well. So if you need storage quickly, you just hit the button from the roof console, flip those seats up and down. Wireless headphones for each passenger too they're hiding in the seat backs. The 12 volt accessory port is hiding down here in the center on the passenger side. 
the radar detector, all that good stuff. Very well lit glove box manual. Everything about the Escalade is thought through and done to the nines, including soft closed doors. You can see the door pull itself shut right there. It may even have rear soft closed doors. Let's find out. There they go, all the way around. The air suspension has entry and exit modes. It can be at whatever height you need it to be for entry, exit, uh, off-road, towing, sport. I'm sure you want it all the way down. It's just it's there. Every feature that you want just exists. Wow, they even put hood struts on this thing. Usually GM loves to use springs. So it has that new crazy front end that they do with all this plastic and the radiator starts all the way here. It's like a foot into the thing. Um, monster of an engine a package that's super reliable works well not much else to say about that it just checks all the boxes and this thing better check all the boxes for an msrp that starts at i think a hundred and six thousand dollars you can see it lowering the air suspension now that i'm out of it and i'll walk it but it's gonna keep lowering the vehicle. That's the 21 Escalade, one of the most loaded vehicles on the road today. I think one of the coolest trucks. I'd love to daily one of these. I just don't wanna spend that kind of money. So in about eight years, when these things are dirt cheap, that's when I plan on picking one up. And believe me, nothing will go wrong. You might lose the engine. There might be an AFM and DOD failure, even though they've like lost that chip at the moment. So they haven't been making AFM and DOD trucks. So that engine should last forever in that config. Um, the electronics, I don't see any of them breaking. They honestly just don't have that many issues. We've seen all of these features on the road for years now. Cadillac just went and put them all in a truck for you. Uh, it has the price to match, but that's what you pay to have a truck this classy with all of the luxury. That is it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to head on over to shop. Watch for cool shirts just like this. And please like, share, subscribe, do whatever you want to do. And I will talk to you next time. I'm sure some of you are like, why don't you drive it? Well, it's, it's a customary vehicle. I'm not going to go drive it. Uh, I don't mind starting it for a little bit and doing a quick demo, but I, I'm not going to go take out their truck that just got polished and uh, drive it around before they finish the detail. Some people are going to complain that I wasn't working on the Jag today. Don't worry. I was. I got basically all the wiring off it today and the rest of the coolant hoses. This thing's still here, so I decided to put the tow hook on it. And that's also taking hours, so look forward to, that's gonna be a video at this point. It's pretty cool. <laughs>